In this video I'm upgrading the iOS software on a Cisco 4500X. I'm going to start by running a show ver command to see what software it's running now. And we can see that this is the 16 port 4500X and it's running this 386E image. When I'm setting up a switch I like to use one of the starred images off of Cisco's download page. And I also try to stick to an image that's marked MD for maintenance deployment as opposed to ED for early deployment since the maintenance deployment images are focused on just bug fixes for the existing features whereas the early deployment images will include bug fixes as well as new features so unless you actually need one of those new features for something you're probably better off just sticking with maintenance deployment anyhow I already have the recommended image copied down from Cisco's website and onto a thumb drive and I have that plugged into the USB port on the front of the switch and just to confirm that the switch is able to see the thumb drive and access the files I'm gonna run a dir USB 0 and there it is now I'm going to copy the image from the USB drive into the flash on the switch. It's pretty simple, just copy USB 0 colon file name. And here it's a little different, instead of flash you type boot flash and colon. And we'll keep the same image name. And since copying can take a while, I'll go ahead and fast forward through this. Alright, so the copy is finished, I'm just going to confirm now that the file is in flash. Boot flash colon and there it is. Alright so this next part is where the process for the 4500X is a little different from the access layer switches. I'm gonna run the show boot var command. Alright so you can see here that it has a boot variable telling it to boot to what used to be this file right here and also the configuration register is set to 0x2101. What a configuration register set to 2101 tells the switch to do is to boot to the first image that it sees in flash which is this 386E image. And that's actually the software that the switch is running right now. And you can make the switch work this way sort of by renaming files so that they drop to the bottom of the list and then it will boot to your preferred image at the top. But I prefer to have a little more control over the switch so I'm gonna go ahead and change things around so that it will just statically boot to this image every time. To do that we just have to do two things. First we just have to change the configuration register to a different value. To do that you just jump in global config mode and type config-register 0x2102 and hit enter. And now we have to change the boot variable so that it references the new image we just copied to the switch. To do that first we have to delete the old boot variable so just do no boot system and hit enter. And now boot system boot flash colon and then the name of the image, paste, and hit enter, and exit global config mode, and save our config. And now if I say show boot, we can see that the configuration register is currently set to 2101, but it will be 2102 after the next reload, which is what we want. And the boot variable is set to that 387E image, which is also what we want. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and reload the switch. And to speed things along, I'll also go ahead and fast forward through different sections of this. And the console here, the switch actually tells us that since the configuration register was set to 0x2102, that it boots to the file we referenced in the boot variable. Alright, so at this point the switch has finished reloading, and we can see that it's successfully booted into the new image. So it's pretty much all I wanted to share. I had a little bit of trouble myself the first time I had to change the software on one of these things. So I just thought I would share this information out and hopefully make it easier for one of my network brothers or sisters out there fighting the good fight. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if this was helpful. And thanks for watching.